Hey guys, we all know and love the Spirit Sword item. One of the more unique and also powerful additions in Repentance that makes you go close and personal with your enemies. But you also have to admit that the item feels kind of unfinished in many regards. One of the points where it is lacking is the way it interacts with your range stat. Getting an increase in your range stat causes the swing animation and also the effective hitbox of your sword to appear further away from your character. This doesn't only look weird and wrong, it can also end up being very bad for you in combat, because you lose the ability to hit enemies right next to you. Here is how the attack looks like if you visualize its hitbox. As you can see, the hitbox is not bound to your sword anymore if you achieve a very high range stat. If we slow down the animation, we can see that there are only two frames of the attack in which the hitbox is on the sword. For the rest of the duration, the hitbox of your attack is on the slash animation itself. You could probably argue that this could still help you in combat since you can keep your distance, but I think we can all agree that it isn't optimal and that it feels wrong. But as so often in the Isaac community, when there's a problem, there's a mod for it. You can go ahead and install the mod called Range Fix for Bones and Swords, which will fix the range problem of the Spirit Sword item. The mod will remove the weird default range interaction and replace it with a new one that will cause your sword slashes to get bigger, both forwards and sideways. The effective maximum range of this new mechanic will be slightly lower than with the original one, but it will be way more practical and it also makes a lot more sense. Here is how the new and improved hitbox of your slashes looks like with a very high range. As you can see, even at 50 range, the area directly in front of Isaac will always be covered by it. Speaking of high range, you might be wondering how such a high stat is even possible. Well, it will obviously not be easy, but it can totally be done if you manage to get a game break. Getting a loop with Echo Chamber, a Ranger Pill and a Verb Pill is just one way to do it. You can also get infinite item charge shenanigans with the placebo item for example. Such a high range would usually mean the end of your run, unless you have a way to get rid of the Spirit Sword. But the mod will turn it into a fun experience instead. However, you can still overdo it. As you can see here, stacking too much range can still lead to dead spots between yourself and your slash. The mod just doesn't account for you getting that high amounts of range, so don't get greedy if you can stack it infinitely. Also, in case you were wondering, the mod also fixes the bone swing of the forgotten and tainted Samson, as well as that of the notched X active item. All of them are suffering from the same weird range interaction as the spirit sword, so it is only natural that those three have gotten the same treatment in the mod. And as usual in my mod showcases, I will end the video with some fun clips where I mess around with the mod to test its limits. So sit back and enjoy the slaughter. Oh, and by the way, don't you hate the fact that the Spirit Sword has so few synergies in Repentance? 
If you do, then check out the video in the top right, where I showcase a mod that fixes that problem as well. Anyways, that was it for my little showcase of the Spirit Sword Fix mod. If you enjoyed the video, then please leave a like and consider subscribing to the channel, it would be much appreciated. And maybe I'll see you again in my next video. Bye! Isaac! God's favorite son His flowing rose Reached down from